Okay, intel or reduce contact cost? I'm gonna go for the intel. We should have a retaliation coming up pretty quick here. Although we have allies scattered in cities throughout the globe who are willing to share their knowledge of Advent's operations, the aliens are actively pursuing them. It will be oh, nice! Another scientist. That'll be really helpful. And a pile of intel. Commander. Good luck. So it looks like we're gonna do Operation Pungent Prince, where we are extracting a VIP who probably doesn't smell very good from an Advent city. Let's do it. for Sector 14, East Eight. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Okay, so Nasif is finally back. He was, he was very, very tired at the end of last stream, but we've got Nasif, we've got Chaco Sunshine, we've got DJ Daniel. Who else is coming? Ooh, I see our spark is now called Scimitar, which is an absolutely badass name. We're gonna get rid of Leroy. M is still tired, unfortunately. So we'll put Namekian in, maybe? I think this is a pretty good crew. But before I do anything, back up, back up. I wanna make absolutely sure there aren't any other upgrades that I can buy right now. I have 118 supplies. I'm gonna check in engineering really quick. I can do the reinforced frame for the spark. Since I'm sending the spark, I should definitely do that. At one point, Excellent. I thought about trying to bring in an advent map to see if we could inter- Okay. Um Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. Now we should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. DJ Daniel, we're gonna go ahead and give you the EXO suit. The EXO armor suit gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons with the durability to match. I think we need to, since this is a, an advanced armor, we're gonna we're gonna change his uh, his look a little bit. Instead of padded armor, we're gonna give him this sort of heavy powered armor. There we go. And then the legs. Wow, that is so badass. Okay, DJ Daniel, upgrade complete. We're also gonna give him Actually, we need to give some upgrades to folks. We're going to upgrade with a scope. We're going to upgrade with a repeater. And then DJ Daniel. We'll give you this hair trigger. Okay, okay. We've got lots and lots of explosives, but we are lacking a couple of things. We need the Mimic Beacon. And someone needs to equip the Skulljack. It's going to be Nasif for the time being. I think we are good to go onward. I think this is gonna be the last mission of the evening, friends. In position to drop. Let's make it a good one. We received the priority one transmission from the spokesman. The resistance has a VIP operating out of this area. Out of Beijing. Extraction. 
Advent forces are on alert nearby. Be prepared to engage and eliminate any hostile contacts. Secure the area and escort the VIP to safety. Menace 1-5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Advent already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. True, but they gave me a high ground advantage right at the very beginning, which is really nice. Um, I saw that there were three sectoids or something over here. I only saw it for a moment. We're going to move Namekian forward first. See if we activate anybody. We don't. We have 12 turns, which is a pretty decent amount of time, so we're not going to be in too much of a hurry here. I kind of want to move Adriana up twice, but if I, if she does activate an enemy, it'll get really dangerous really fast. Servos engaged. There are no enemies down there. Excellent. Good to know. Sure thing. Solid copy. We'll put Chaco Sunshine up front. And everyone else is going on Overwatch. Nice. Serve our purposes nicely. Damage. It can be disabled. Instant kill by the spark. Namekian with his Overwatch shot shreds the hell out of the shield bearer. Oh man, this is going to be great because we also have a, a captain here, which is going to be perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So we're going to skull, skulljack the captain in a second, but first let's go ahead and take out this shield bearer. Chaco Sunshine, it's good to have you back. It was a nice long vacation. Take that shot. Excellent. Look at that. No longer a threat. Okay, and he has another... Um, another action, which means I feel okay running out and killing this captain. Even if I activate another pod, I've got plenty of actions left. So, Skulljack. Nasif. See if we can hack into the network. Jack deployed. Brutal. We I'm sad I didn't get a, a screenshot of that. Ionic network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our intrusion. Okay. We didn't get any extra intel, but that's okay. We did, however, activate this codex. Commander. That appears to be the Codex, responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Okay, so... Let's see. Namekian... will go ahead and come Absolutely. forward. And then we should be able to bust that thing out of its cover. Grenade out! Namekian with the booms. Takes out the wall. Deals some damage. I have never seen anything like this. The Codex is projecting multiple copies of itself into our dimension. It's fine. We got this. It's good to have the A-team back. Adriana, 100% shot. Beautiful. And then Scimitar is going to be able to just drop right next to the thing. Did I just... Yay, misclick. These things happen. Um, what I can do, though, is go into overdrive. And try that again. <laughs> Oops. Okay. There we go. And from right next to it, 100%. Here is some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully, it will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. Not bad at all. Okay. We'll put Chaco on Overwatch. Everyone else is going to move forward. But not too much forward. Absolutely. 
If there are other enemies out there, the explosion might have alerted them. Affirmative. Covering now. And I would much rather deal with that... ...with some overwatch, if it happens. Okay, nothing. Nasif will go forward and grab this item. A laser sight and a data pad. Not bad at all. Very, very useful. Now, we gotta be a little careful here. We still have ten turns. There's no rush just yet. On it! So I think I'm gonna not make any more forward progress. I think I'm just gonna move people. We're green to go. She'll reload. We're gonna move people close, but not any closer. I don't wanna activate another enemy pod at this stage. Go, go, go. I'm on it. Finally. All right. No further enemies, although I imagine that's going to change fairly soon. Let's go ahead and take a look at this tower. Anything useful or interesting? They are both very, very useful, but unfortunately the de the, uh, the the success rate is so low that there's really no point in trying. So instead, I'm going to run out and see if there are any enemies out here. Just a moment. Ooh, the Viper King is back. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. Oh yeah, we got take this. this thing down once and for all, Commander. Let's get it done. Okay. First off, can I hit it with a missile? Of, oh, I can? If I can, that's what I'm doing, because it has that point of armor. Beautiful. All right. Deal a big pile of damage. It gets to take a reaction, so it's going to move forward. Okay, how exactly am I going to go about this? I'm pretty sure I can kill it this turn. Nasif can really only reach that one, although I could run and gun and just shoot it. I think that's probably the way to go. We're gonna run and gun. Moving to fire position. No need to ask twice. We're gonna get over here. Oof! Ha, <laughs> nice! With the blade storm reaction. Still gets caught, but manages to deal some serious damage in the meantime. Not bad. Okay. Now the question is, how am I going to deal with it now? Daniel can move forward. He'll get a nice good shot off. I gotta be careful though, because that thing's gonna do damage after every one of my turns, and that's very rough. He's taken three damage so far. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I just said. I'm gonna move Dana forward. Another three damage. Gross. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal Nasif. Whoa, I don't know what just happened there, but it did heal him. Very good. Is that... It is, okay. We have a 77% shot. DJ Daniel. Finishes it off. King is down. Good work, people. Nasif is standing on the water. Graphical glitches are my favorite. I'm grabbing a screenshot of this. There we go. Okay. So that was dumb. He's not actually there, he's somewhere else. But for now... Okay, we're gonna throw the axe at 98%. 
It's only gonna graze, that sucks. 97%. And the Seif's able to finish it off. Namekian is not going to get to a place where he can take a shot. So I think what we're gonna need to do is engage the Mimic Beacon. So we're gonna run Chaco Sunshine forward. And he's gonna dump the Mimic Beacon on the ground. To try to keep uh, Nasif safe. Sure thing. Let's do this. Alright. At least we know where they are. They both try to melee it. Neither of them works. It does get a shot off, but that's okay. It's just a decoy. Nasif takes out one of the Vipers. Only the best. Nice and easy. Hitting there now. Now, there's only one left, so if I drop right here, it'll be a flanking shot. Namekian, one, or 88%, takes it down with a crit. And that ends combat for the time being, and we're actually pretty close to the exit. I'm sure there's another pod of enemies around here somewhere, but also congratulations Namekian on the promotion. We'll get to that at the end of the mission. Nice. Good night, Silver Key. I'll talk to you soon. Sure thing. Let's move already. Now, you might have a better chance at hacking this tower. Accessing system. Because Adriana's got a much better hacking score. 45% chance a failed hack will result in any nearby enemy groups being alerted to my position. I don't care. Let's try it out. Nice. So we're going to get a new facility lead, um, which will let us um, sort of halt the Avatar project a little bit longer. Hack the planet. On the move. Okay. Moving forward, moving forward. There is still another group of enemies over there. There's a specter and at least one, maybe two sectoids. So let's go and activate that group. I didn't activate the group. That's annoying. Okay. It's fine. We're just going to move forward. Move forward. Absolutely. We'll get some Overwatch going. I'm away. Here I come. Scan it. Come get Scan it. Cover. See if they activate this time. They don't. Okay. If that's the way it's going to be, we're just going to jump up on the roof with them. Hi, folks. How's it going? I'm a giant death robot. That's more like it. Overdrive. The Spectre is the most uh, dangerous enemy here, so 83% for eight damage. Attack number two because Overdrive, 83%, takes it down. Targeted unit down. Ammunition nearing depletion. Nasif absolutely bisects that, uh, that sectoid. Namekian, 54%. Hits for seven and applies a hollow target.
Adriana, 89%. Finishes it off. How many is that now? It's a lot. Chaco will be able to make it to the exit. So will DJ Daniel. Get them out. End our turn. On approach. Not a problem. Good to go. Got the VIP. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. And finally. Namekian will be able to get out, and Adriana will have to wait one more turn. Just in time. Finally. I'm out of here. And that's that. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Only one wound, which could have been there. There was touch and go for a second there. Namekian was. Very, very hurt for a moment. I expect he's going to be out for a little while, but, but we took down the Viper King, which means we have the body, which we will be able to use to make into a set of snake armor. Yes, that's real. Let's move on. I believe some promotions are in order, if I'm not mistaken. Peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the Elder. I'd probably call the Spark the MVP of that one. Although Nasif actually probably did more. Now that I think about it, I think Nasif was the MVP of that one. Looks like Namekian is our only promotion. We will get him up to Captain. We will give him Chain Shot, which is a shot with an aim penalty of minus 15, but if we hit, we actually get another shot right away, which is super duper useful. We still don't have anyone at the Major level. As soon as we get one person to Major, we'll be able to send that person to go find the Chosen Assassin Stronghold, or find out how to get into the Stronghold, and uh, we'll be able to hunt her down. Commander. Please thank our troops for completing what we And we got the Codex brain. And acquiring the Codex brain. Very we'll nice. Begin work on it as soon as possible. Commander, having successfully recovered one of Dr. Valen's genetically modified test subjects, I am eager to begin conducting an autopsy as soon as possible. It is my hope that by following her own research notes, I will gain an even greater understanding of just how she managed to accomplish these rapid changes. And we got another scientist, which means our research is gonna go faster. Uh, and I believe we have now hit the four scientists that you need to complete the game. And we got a facility lead. Yeah, this was just an absolute triumph overall. This might have been the best mission of the campaign so far. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance. Thank Commander. you, Council. Commander, combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task. And eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. That's a little bit of a weird trait to be uh, to be getting, Nasif. You didn't get set on fire, you were wrapped up by a snake. Um, so I don't know where this came from. There was no fire whatsoever in this past uh, mission, but that's okay. We will get you to the infirmary as soon as we can and get you um, ready to go. In fact, can we do that now? No, not until he's no longer wounded. Okay, we've got a pile of intel and not some supplies yet. We've got a lot of alloys and Illyrium. Um, let's go ahead and do some of the strategic stuff. Um, we'll go ahead and get time going a little bit, and then we will you log the same off. Things I did in that facility, so now you should understand why I've kept my. You have delayed the aliens' efforts towards completing the Avatar Project, Commander. 
Let us hope the asset you recovered will prove useful in uncovering the alien's plans. Avenger plotting new course. I'm gonna head over for supplies. I'm impressed. I've always found those extra dimensional beings to be especially irritating to hunt down. So we have a spider suit, which gives a grapple, and we are going to give that spider suit to uh, Chaco Sunshine. The spider suit will improve our soldiers' chances of dodging an attack, while also providing increased agility and grappling capability. Yep. That way he'll be able to get up into elevated positions very easily. Not bad. At all. Moving on. Against the elders, we find nothing but success. We went ahead and got the first step towards finding the chosen hunter done, and nobody was wounded. We've recovered another crucial piece of information about the chosen. We are bound by a common enemy. And together we grow strong. We are ready for more orders, Commander. We only await your choice. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. We'll go ahead and send Mox because I think the mobility for him would be a really good plan. We're going to send Tigress, Lily, and we are going to send Zagreus to go find the Chosen Hunter's stronghold. My kind will do whatever is needed. We've got another EXO suit, which I'm gonna go ahead and dole out right now because I'll forget otherwise. We're gonna give this one to Namekian. All right. And we've got our new target. So this is gonna be where we're going to end, but let's go ahead and take a look at our target. We can either hack a workstation for an engineer, and that's gonna counter the explosives one. This is probably going to be the mission that we're going to do. Um, especially since if you see the sit rep below, it is the horde, which means there won't be any advent. It will be nothing but lost and Lost are much easier to deal with when you don't have to deal with guns being shot at you as well. Um, I'll take a look at the others also though. Sabotage a transmitter for intel in a hidden event. Operation Massive Laughter, recover an item for a bunch of supplies and signal jamming. This is a good one. This would be one I would want to do if the other one wasn't so much better. Okay. So, wrapping up the stream, let's go ahead and drop into the bar we memorial. We can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. We've only lost two so far. We had the original Namekian who died in the very first mission, Operation Gatecrasher. Another win for our guys and girls in black. Making the And we had Deadpool who was killed in an ambush after a covert mission. Friends, make sure you thank them for their service. Hello, Commander. Can I build anything right now? Yeah, I could do the. I don't really care about the auto pistol. I never use it. I should see if any of the troops have been keeping count on alien kills. Might be a useful recruiting tool. Ah, uh, that's what we'll do. We're gonna go to the tactics school. All right. Um. Interesting. So I could get infiltration, which increases hacking and makes it so that security towers can't see the Reaper. Deadshot is a bonus to critically hit. Cool under pressure, critically hit when taking overwatch. And then, of course, biggest booms. In explosives can inflict critical damage. We're doing that one. Okay. And then the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into the armory. We're going to take a look at our soldiers. I see that Nasif is not particularly badly wounded. Um, Adriana is about to come back online. 
and everyone else is more or less good to go. Uh, I do want to start using these lower ranked folks um, pretty soon, but I need to get at least one of these folks up to Major so that I can finally finish hunting the Chosen Assassin. We have killed, wow, that's a lot of things. We've killed 10 Stun Lancers, 22 Troopers, 4 off, uh, Officers, 3 Shield Bearers, 2, I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure what that one is. Two priests, four purifiers, 107 lost, three, um, what did I just call those? The word, the word will come to me at some point. 11 sectoids, one muton, four faceless, 31 vipers, and, uh, whatever this thing's called. Spectre, that's what it's called. Good job, me. That's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you very much for watching, those of you who stuck around. If you're watching uh, the VOD after the fact, thank you again very much for watching. Um, if you are interested in my content but you can't make it live, that's totally fine. You can find all of the VODs of this very campaign over on youtube.com slash gamingmathematically where I cut them up into digestible 15 to 20 minute chunks um, for your convenience. Also, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at MathDemigod. Um, and uh, one last thing, if you want to be part of this show, I do have one or two slots open for folks who want to be in the stream. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and send me a picture that uh, I can use for inspiration to create a soldier somewhat in your likeness. Thank you once more for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.